everybody, it's Jules here with Beanie. Hello. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Night Wah, set in the one and only Brobna. And today we have a super special battle report for you because we are playing Combat Patrol in 10th edition. It's going to be a clash of the patrols and we have two formidable... <sighs> one of them's not that formidable. Forces for you today. It's 1000 Suns versus Tau Empires. Yay, Tau Empire, <laughs> woo! <laughs> So here we are in another ruined sector of Brobna and we are taking it to the streets today because we are fighting for four objectives that are in play. Now each of these, if we hold on to them from our second turn onwards in our command phase, will net us five victory points. Hooray! Yes, hooray. But that's just the primary mission. We've each selected one secondary mission apiece in order to add on to the scoring and I've gone for the Kao Yon Lure, which means that I will get five VP for every uh, Tau unit, that, or I'll get five VP every turn for a Tau unit that's in my deployment zone, which is going to be either side of this board, uh, that is not battle shocked. Uh, so it's basically just uh, plant your feet, lads, and shoot whatever pokes its wee head out. So that's pretty good. And Beanie's gone for one that is called... Bringer of Change. Ooh. And at the end of the phase, uh, it, you score D3 VP if you destroyed enemy models with psychic attacks. Nice. And that kind of fits the theme, doesn't it? Uh, because it's a thousand suns, they've got a lot of psychic wigglings to uh, impart on other people, and I am a coward and I want to stay hidden behind rocks and that's such. That's right. Yay, go Tao. Well, um, you're called the patient hunter, that's what Kao Yon means. <laughs> it's very true, very, very true. So um, those are going to be what we're doing in terms of oh, how we're going to score some points. Um, but there is actually a little extra twist as well, as provided by this clash of patrols. If you see, each of these objective points contains some intelligence or intelligence to the layman, which uh, means that uh, in the second phase onward, you can uh, choose to recover some intelligence, you can flip over the coin, and you get one uh, CP. But there's only four in play. Uh, it's nice, it's a nice little touch, nice little touch, great stuff. Now, for those of you not too sure what Combat Patrol is, it's balanced, balanced forces made by GW that are prefixed, so you run exactly what they tell you to run. That means that some people have been boosted, some people have been nerfed, and some people have just, uh, well, gained a name and nothing else. So let's go meet the teams. So, here we are with my Tau Empire Combat Patrol. It is a meagre force with very little AP, but I'm feeling confident, he said lyingly, because I have two named characters whose names I have completely forgotten to time because of the fact that they are Poo Poo and Pee Pee. In fact, that is their name. This is Poo Poo, this is Pee Pee. I say that because this guy over here, his only ability, aside from not having AP on his uh, Tau uh, what's it? A pulse counter, rifle. Counter fire blade pulse rifle is that he gives plus one attack to pulse uh, weaponry in the group that he's attached to, which is going to be that strike uh, force over there. Now that sounds great, apart from the pre loadout uh, determined by GW is five of them have the rifles and five of them have the carbines. Why? Because that's how we play. Combat Patrol. So Poo is over here, and on the other side over here, we have PP, who is an ethereal on a hover drone. And she has, let me just check my notes here, nothing, no ranged, zero, zero combat capability, strength two, or two attacks, strength three, fantastic, on a stave, great, love you. Is that all it is? Yes, wow. but, but she does have something <laughs> uh, pretty unique, which is the fact that at the beginning of my uh, command phase, I roll a dice and on a four up, I gain a free C. That is her one ability. However, seeing as uh, she is my warlord, it means that uh, she also has uh, enhancements. And the enhancements, I won't lie, are pretty decent because uh, her one is that she gains the stealthy keyword. She's got the lone operatives keyword, which means she can't be targeted by um, enemy shooting unless they are within 12 inches. And if there is a Tau infantry unit next to her within six inches, she gives them plus one to their armor save and a five up feel no pain. So actually it's okay. But the problem is, if the enemies break through my meager defences, I am dead. I am so dead. I'm up a, I'm up a creek without a paddle. I, I don't even have a creek. You know what I'm saying? Creaky ass. So here we go. We move over to the strike force over here. We've got five um, guys with the pulse rifles, five with the carbines. They have a support drone as well, which means that if they stay still, they can use the firing uh, profile from that on the other side. Oh, and they also uh, can fire overwatch on a four up, I want to say, if they're on an objective. Mm, that's that, pretty cool. That's okay. Yeah, Zero yeah. P less so. On the other side over here, we've got the stealth drones. Uh, they have the stealthy keyword and they give, when they are the spotter or the observing unit, whichever one it is, because they've got some funny words around uh, the Tau Empire, they give rerolls to wound of one, which is pretty good. Uh, and there is a fusion blaster in there as well. 
plus they can disengage from combat and still shoot, so that's not too bad. But here is the real star of the show. He's the guy who I actually want to keep alive and actually have a quite a lot of faith in. Um, this is my uh, Ghost Keel. He's got a cyclic, ionic, razor blade shooting star through opal burst cannon or something like that. Um, and it does a fair amount of damage for the hazardous profile. But he also has the stealthy keyword, the lone operatives keyword. And he has the fly keyword, which means that he can zip about the place. And he's got a two up save. Not bad at all. He's my one real heavy hitter in the entire group. But remember, everyone hits on fours unless they are being guided by the ethereals or by the rule mechanics. Anyway, that is my combat patrol, Tal Empire. Pee pee and poo poo, let's move over to the Thousand Sons. So here we are with the Thousand Sons, whose named character is, uh, what's he called again? Well, I'm calling him Agathor, because that's been his name for quite some time now. <laughs> there we go, yes, yeah, so Agathor is here and he's leading his retinue. He's got 20 of the finest Zangors that are equipped with the least optimal loadout. I know it sounds like I'm being really pissy, by the way, in this battle report. I am actually going to have a good time. I'm just doing a bit. It's just a bit, okay? Um, it's... Not just a bit though, we are a little bit salty about <laughs> nah, that. Nah, nah, it's fine. As, <laughs> as long as they actually are balanced, I could not care. And I'm yeah. hoping that this will be the uh, the litmus test. So you've got uh, 20 Zangords split into two groups of 10. They've got auto pistols and chains. Chainsaws, Chainsaws, yeah. So they don't have their better Zangor blades and all the other little buffs, but that does mean they get a little bit of ranged. Yeah, which, and is, they get which is quite cool. Four attacks, a boy. In combat, yeah. If they get into combat, they're going to they're going to melt some things. Yeah, indeed. Uh, what about the uh, your lead R, Agathor? So then? he has the Arch Dialobus. Diabolist. Yeah, that's no, I like, that I like Lobis because then it means the little flappy bit on your ear. He's, yes. he's, he wiggles his ears at you. Yes. So he has Deep Strike and the Lone Operative ability. Gross. And his uh, Psychic Attack, Screaming, uh, Screamer Invocation. It has the Pistol ability. So essentially he can charge in and still do all of his Pistol Wonder. Oh, no. Yeah, which I think is really nice. It could be a lot of fun to play with. Okay. Uh, so in terms of his, what is loadout, he's got a Force Stave. He has a uh, Inferno Bolt Pistol mm -hmm. and that Screaming. Uh, ability, yeah, cool. which is really, really nice because if you're willing to risk the hazard, which we are, uh, it's 2d6 flamer at strength 6, minus 2, 1 damage. Oh dear, that's gonna suck. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, Hooray. and then uh, who is he next to? Uh, so then he is next to some Scarab Cult Terminators who are actually kitted out as WYSIWYG. Nice. Uh, they have three wounds, a so two up save, four up invul. Mm. Uh, their ability is uh, Implacable Guardian, so if you're shooting them with a weapon stronger than their toughness, then it's minus one to your wound rolls. Uh, they have a bit of Warp Smite, so they can do a fair bit of damage to yep. anti-infantry with that. Uh, and they're just actually quite choppy in combat with their Kopeshes and the guy with the Force Weapon. Nice. Well, there we go. I mean, that is a, just those two units alone would probably deck my entire combat patrol uh, on a good day. But let's hope it's a bad day for the Thousand Suns uh, because I've just got to get through all of those as well. Anyway, that's fine. We now know who we're playing as, what we're playing on. So let's get set up and start cracking some heads. So here we are after deployment and look at that sea of psychic might. There is some the feathery fury that is about to come my way in turn one. Um, Beanie has managed to uh, put a lot of his forces, every single uh, unit is on the table. Um, he's got some great advancing options because he can go through these terrain features with his battle line stuff and grab some objectives. And he's got the bird boys over here that can maybe cycle around, uh, pepper me with his shots and then go in for the charge. I have gone for a very defensive clump. I've had to, there is no way I can stand up to a turn one charge. So I had to stay as far away from uh, this as possible. Uh, put all of my boys together, try and I've hidden that my ethereal's hiding underneath there. She just does not want any part of it. And hopefully I'll at least get her some shots off. The only people that have advanced out of my uh, deployment zone have been my stealth suits. So they're over here. They're just trying to hold desperately onto objective number three. That is all they're going to try and do. So um, let's get this kicked off, my man. Uh, let's roll for turn one and uh, let's go. It's a five bollocks. Oh, Beanie gets turn one. Yay! Oh. So here we are. The blue tide is coming. Oh, me meow. Look at that. With one massive advance of a six, he managed to get this uh, unit onto two objectives. That is just cheeky. That is a cheeky beaky right there. Um, we've also got another squad that's advanced up with a three. They push through the ruins and are going to, well, cause a big problem for the non combat focus tower over there but it's the real stars of the show the terminators trudged up slowly so that they could get some shots in 
and I'm not looking forward to this. Beanie's also got three Cabal points uh, to spend um, when it's my turn, effectively, to re-roll one of his saving throws, which he's probably going to use on yes, the Terminators. Yes, basically, at the start of the phase, you declare that you're doing it, mm -hmm. and I'll just then have it in my back pocket for that turn. Indeed, or he shall. Phase, Indeed. So, um, let's kick things off with the shooting. What have you got in that group? So, 18. He is in range for a Warp Smite. Okay, so what does this do? You ready? It's a psychic ability, the first psychic power. Are you sure that you don't want to do your other shooting and then do this to kill me to get your secondary objective? Or uh, you can't do it on the first turn anyway, Hang on, uh, if I remember rightly, and I'm just going to double check, mm. at the end of each phase you score D3 VP if one or more enemy models were destroyed oh. by psychic attacks. Wow, okay, that's amazing. Yes, okay, so, fair I have, enough. so I have three attacks. I thought it was units. Oh, that... Yeah, so, so did I until I read it a few times. Cool, blimey. Good reading. Okay. Uh, so it is three shots, hitting on threes, anti-infantry, yep. four up, devastating wounds. Let's see it. Dang, two big hits. Strength? Uh, so it's four, so it's going to be wounding threes. on threes. Yep. Okay, so One wound, minus three. So, so it's minus three, so I'm on a four up save normally. I go down to a three up save because I'm behind cover. cover. And then it goes minus... So five. So five up save. Here we go. Do it, does it go to a four because of the plus one that she offers with her ability? Or can you own, do you do all your positive modifiers first, then your negative modifiers? So I'll go from a four up save down to a two up save because I get plus one for being in cover and plus one for her ability for the Warlord giving plus one to their saves. But being in cover, if you're on a three up, you can't go down to a two up. But if it, I go for a four up to a three up, she gives the plus one to a two up. I don't know. I don't know, because it depends on which order you stack it in then, doesn't it, effectively? Because yes. if I stacked it the other way and gave her the plus one save, then that would negate cover. I'm going to do it as a three up save, just for rule uh, simplicity. So this would take it to a five up. Uh -huh. <gasps> it's a two, how much damage? Uh, one, so that is a dead man. It is not, I have a five up, feel no pain, my friend, because of her other ability. Which I do make, no Dang. damage taken. Oh, I hate you, I hate and you, I hate a, you. a lovely rules discussion and a save. You love to see it. <laughs> a shooting now. Four. four Marines that are shooting with so their two, storm four, bolters. Six, Inferno bolters. So it'll be eight shots. Eight shots, here we go. Hitting on. Three. Yeah, oh, bloody hell. Here we go. Nice. And then, wounded on. Three. Classic. Okay, so how much minus on this? It's only the minus one. Okay, so this will go to my three up save then, uh, no matter how we cut it on this. Yep. Who made all of them? That's what Ooh, I mean, man. Okay, the towel. Maybe they are going to survive the day. Next up. Uh, we've got five shots, no, six shots from the Soul Reaper cannon. Okay, Soul Reaper coming in. This has devastating wounds, but not when I roll like that. Ooh, okay, so two hits so far. And then this is wounding on twos, because uh, it's strength six, I want to yeah. say. Yep. And there's the devastating wound, so okay. at least that's immortal. Okay, so, um, and what's the AP of the other one? Need to find out now. Ooh, I'll roll the dice and we'll find out. It is. So it's minus one. Well, I failed it anyway. How much damage does these do? So one, so you've got to do two feel two no pains. Two five up feel no pains. Come on, mate. Nope, didn't make a single one of them. That is two dead Tau boys. I'm going to get rid of the pulse carbines. Bye. Oh, no, I won't because you're going to get closer to me. Yeah. Bye, Catch. Catch Fire Blade. Bye, Catch Fire Blade. <laughs> so two missiles coming from the Hellfire missile rack. Same target. Here we go, <laughs> rack. baby. Rack. Rack him up. Two big hits. Strength of this. Ten. Poor. Two's the wound. Two big wounds. AP on this one. Minus two. Caught. Blimey. So fours down to... I, we still need to figure this out. If it's going to be a plus one to the cover save and then it gets minused again. You do all of your positive modifiers first, don't you? So it's be yeah. three minus two, do you say? Yeah. So fives. One made, one failed. So How much three damage? damage. So three feel no pains for one model. No. No, he died towel. many a time. Shoop, 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 shoop. That is another one of my Tau boys gone. See ya. Bye. Ouch. How many have I killed? You've killed three. So three models lost here. Uh, not enough to get, put them into battle shock need. Um, but that is all the shooting. And I believe that's the end of your turn. It is because I have advanced and cannot charge. Cannot charge. So let's see what the Tau's rebuttal will be in Tau Empire, turn one. 
So, here we are after tower movement, and it was very minimal indeed. My ethereal hopped over the barricade over here and ended down there, just trying to make it a bit more difficult for the Beaky Boys to try and charge her later on, because I know they want her dead. They are staying put because of the fact that they get to now use their support units, and also they just get more shots. It's easier for them to just do their job and hopefully whittle away at these uh, people that are holding onto these two objectives. And the stealth units have moved around the corner over here, and they are going to kick off the shooting phase by guiding the Ghost Keel into shooting the Scarab Occult Terminators. By doing so, they provide a re-roll of one to the wound roll against the Terminators and give plus one to the, um, what do you call it, the ballistic skill of this guy. And I believe it gives them the um, ignores cover key rule as well because they are counted as a marker unit. So that should be pretty good. Babini is spending his two Cabal points in order to give a free reroll of a failed saving throw against them, which probably... Yeah, Weaver of Fate, it's called. ...be very useful indeed. So I'm going to get some dice, and we'll be right back. So the Ghost Kill's going up first. It's got uh, its Cyclic Ion Raker, which obviously I'm going to overcharge, because why would we not want to do that? It's just funnier that way, uh, even though Beanie probably will save all of them and I'll take a hazardous thing for it, but it's funnier that way. Um, and I'm going to put the Twin Fusion Blaster into the Zangles in front of him, but that will be hitting on a five, because I am not guided to ah. shoot that unit. I These rules, they make... Oh, and because you've targeted my Zangles, I am playing my Strat. Yep. Uh, called the Mutant Cunning, so they can do a free move of up to D6 and it counters them being in the benefits of cover. Very nice in dee -de doo but back over here. So, it's going to be uh, hitting on threes with the overcharge thing first. We hit with everything, oh, which is very good. Oh, you absolute poo. <laughs> and then, but this is going to be wounding you normally on threes, but fours because of your implacable guardian ability. Yes. So re-rolling ones. And I get no ones, but I do get three big hits through. Lovely. So is it worth a CP right now? I'm going to spend one CP just because of the fact I want to try and get as many damage through as possible. It's a big wound. So there is four up saves to make and you get one free reroll. Basically, yes. And you didn't need a single one. Fair I fair didn't, thing. so I can use that <sighs> somewhere else. Good times. Right, I'm going to do my D6 free move. Hold on. I've got to do my hazardous test first. Yes. Don't roll a one, don't roll a one. It's you, a two. Oh, I thought I saw the one. Ooh. Okay. Well, good start, boy. Good start. And then it's the Twin Fusion Blaster. It hits on a five, though. It's a cool guy. And it misses. Fantastic. Good what? shooting. Mwah, delicious from that. Uh, to be fair, I can't even be that mad. It was Beanie's implacable guardians and amazing saves that managed to see him through. Um, that is the end of his shooting. Let's move over to the Strike Force, uh, Strike Team, that are oh, being guided by these guys here. And do we want to tell them that they move? Oh, yes. They move two, two inches over there. So um, all of these shots raining down into the uh, Zangles over here. They get an extra shot apiece because of the fact that the counter fire blade gives them that ability and they are most definitely within rapid fire range. So I'm going to get some dice and we'll be back with the saves. Pew, 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 pew. That is exactly the noise that all of those uh, carbines made. These are the saves. Five ups to keep the Zangles alive. Bring. Ooh, how many died? Oh god, most of them. Ooh. Two, four, six, seven. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. and, and I get one free reroll because of Weaver oh, yep. Fate. Sure. Boom. Okay, so seven gone and still two, three shots from the uh, Tau uh, Counter Fireblade, who's going in as well. Hitting on threes. He hits three times. Strength five on beaky bodies, which is threes three. to wound. Uh, two big wounds coming in, my friend. Two more. Five up saves. Made them both this time around. The Counterfire Blade cannot teach these boys, but we get to use that lovely little Battle Shock token now because they are going to need a test going forward. Or will they even survive? Because now it is the Stealth Boys' turn to shine. The Stealth Suits fired their burst cannons up into the Zangles over here, and Beanie has this many saves of five up to keep them alive. They did pretty well. And, ooh, they only just died. No, they didn't. Made three. Oh, there's, damn it, there's three left. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Somehow he managed to pull it off with one Zangle remaining. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is the end of my shooting. Unsurprisingly, no charges. Really? So that is going to be the end of my turn. Now, at the beginning of the command phase, Beanie has to make a battle shock test over here. And if he fails it, he doesn't count as having that uh, objective That's under his control. So no C, so no VP, potentially. What is their leadership? Seven. Let's see it, mate. Get a seven or higher. You did. Ooh. 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 And now in the command phase, because they are treasure hunters, okay. I get to roll a dice and on a four up, I get an extra cabal point. Beautiful this stuff. Beautiful. 
Nothing. No. Damn, I forgot to do my Ethereal's ability to generate a CP as well. Damn it, her one ability and I forgot. Here we are. We are in 1000 Suns turn two. There has been a significant amount of movement and one blob of Beaky Boys has been replaced by another blob of Beaky Boys. Uh, holding on to this objective and the uh, Scarab Occult Terminators and the Infernal Master are now also in control of a, an objective. I'm not, not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm very worried about this in particular that you can see on the screen right now. But still, let's see how it shakes out because Beanie has three whole shots that he's going to launch into my face. From these angles. <laughs> these angles right here. They can shoot with their auto pistols up into the boys. Dang it. Here we go. Hitting on fours. Oh no, there's two big hits. Strength, Strength three. Fours to wound, baby. Yeah. No. All right. Other Zango no. going to put his shot up no. into them as well. No. Yes. No. Feel it. No. Mm. No. Okay, so. So, um, three up save. Three up save. Come on, dude. Oh, five up. Feel no pain. Oh, no, damn it. I celebrated too soon. Damn it. Yes! He killed him. Zango, 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 oh. Zango. <laughs> he somehow managed to shoot up and kill one of my little boys. Get out of here. See you later, mate. Dang it. Okay, that's that's quite annoying, I won't lie. Uh, but it's about to be followed up by these guys who are going to fire up, I imagine, everything. Is it, uh, uh, is it uh, my friend? Uh, no, so he's going to do his screaming oh, invocation, okay. uh, or whatever it's called. Something to do with screaming, yeah, so he is very yeah, yeah, metal. Yeah, 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 he's got his um, special powers that he's going to unleash now. It's like a flamer from the mind. It does, but I'm just clicking buttons, because this new app, I love it. It's just... Um, it takes a bit of getting used to it, There's a lot of it? buttons clicking. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, am I going to risk ha hazardous for... I risked hazardous over here. You've got to, surely. Okay, fine, I am. Surely. So this flamer has 2d6 shots. Oh, dear. Okay, so 2d6 auto hits. Oh, they're for 10. Oh, me meow. Why? Why? Strength 6, so 2 to wound. wound. So that is 8 wounds at minus 2. Damn it, man. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight at minus two. Uh... Oh, I made wow. a fair few. That's okay, so route. five ups. One, two, three, four. And how much damage is that a piece? Just one a piece? One a piece, yes. Come on, mate. Some five ups to feel no pain would be great. I just need one to die so I, I can know, get some points. I know. Oh, three die. Brilliant. Dang. And now the hazardous test. Oh, yeah, let's see if this goes. Brain, 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 brain. Oh, it's the Whee, exact the opposite. opposite. He is fine. But three more Tau Fire Warriors bite the big one. That is not good, and I'm under half strength, so please put a token next to me because I am going to need a battle shocky. Test. Thank you very much. Okay, good shooting, but so not now, the only shooting. So now I roll a... Uh, well, it's at the end of the phase. I'll need to roll a D3 to get myself some VP. Sure thing. Okay, so... Now we're going to do a little bit of the old split fire. Mm, okay, fair enough. The big split has happened. Uh, there's a lot of shots going into the stealth boys over here and a fair few shots going into the fire warriors up here. So which ones are we starting with first, stealth. my man? So all these shots are going into the stealth boys now. Minus one to hit because of their stealthy keyword. They're going to start with the hellfire. Okay, four. Uh, fours. One hit. Okay. Two's to wound. It is a big wound. Minus two, so they're on a five up. Ooh. Oof, indeed. Four, how much damage? Three, so one oh, of them is just dead. Dang, okay, so one of these stealth boys is out of there. And there you go, kids. That's why you start with a multi damage yep. weapon against things with multi wounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and now it's the eight shots because they, we've measured it up and they are within the 12 inch just yes. about to be able to get the rapid fire two. Sure, sure. So hit on fours. Ooh. That's a big pocket of ones there. But still, two big hits. Strength. Uh, so four on fours. Yep, so, so fours. Uh, four on four crime. Uh, one at minus one. So four up save. Uh, cool. Another one. Dang it. So he's down to one wound, I believe. He's down to one. They have two. Ouch. That stings quite a lot. And now uh, the other two there, I don't, they won't be within 12. So it's just going to be four shots going up into those guys oh, hitting yep. on the three. Oof, oof, oof. Ooh. And then this is going to be wounding on threes again, is it? It is. So one wound coming in. Minus uh, one. Minus one, so three up save. He makes it. Okay, and now it is time for the so, warp smite. Oh, the warp smite. Here we go. So threes. Oh. Damn you. And then the strength of this is? Uh, it's four. Okay, so three's, three's the wound. Big wound coming in, AP. Minus three. 
He Yay. makes it. All right, okay. And now the Soul Reaper. Oh no, I thought that was it. Six shots, is it, from the Soul Reapers? It is. Dang it, that's a lot of hits. This is the thing that did me in last time. So, so two wounds wound, yeah. and six is a wonderful because they're devastating. But there's nothing devastating about that, but there is three wounds three, and a minus one. Three wounds, minus one. Ooh, tell us if we're wrong about the um, save allocation thing for the ethereals of power and all that. But uh, at the moment I've made one. one, but potentially I could have made two, but we don't know on that one yet. So two more die. Eep, that's not good. That is not good at all. Oh, no, they don't because I've still got five up full no pains. Oh yeah, of course. Come on, two, Is it, was it two? Yeah, it was yeah. two. Two. One made, one failed, one guy. One man Shlut. zooms back. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Okay, so that is all of the shooting done. It's now time for the one man heroic charge phase over here, is it? You better believe it. I'm gonna have to kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate him so much. You should. I'm tempted to let him charge and punch him in the head with the ghost kill fist. He might I, be good. Well, I, I can fall back and still shoot and do all my things, so it's not gonna really tie me up too much. Oh, then why am I doing it? Because it's funny, and funny is the best thing about Brobnar. So am I able to charge down there? And fight up. Yes, because you're still within the whatchamacallit uh, range of them. Okay, so I would say that I need seven. Yeah, that sounds about right. He's going to see if he can get up there with his chainsword. Here we go, baby. No. Not with a three. No, 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 no. Is no. it with CP? Probably not, but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Fair do, enough. Do. Here we go. Yeah. Give him the CP. He is up there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a lovely sight, isn't it? We've got a Zangor champion going up against a Counterfire Blade and his two bodyguards, which I hear are great in combat. They so are. Let's see combat. what we've got in terms of fighting prowess from the Great Blade wielder. I imagine that's what he's got anyway. That's no, it. it's a chainsaw. Ah, fantastic. Four, sh four attacks? Four attacks. Beautiful stuff. Hitting on the fours. That's real good. Strength of this? Uh, threes. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, one Ooh. wound and AP on this. Zero. Okay, four up save to keep him alive. Ooh, five, five up feel a pain. Oh, here we go. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Uh, yeah, boo, I'm still boo, alive. Boo. I'm still... <laughs> now uh, we'll be back after the towers fall back. <laughs> Dang it, no damage done either side. Mm. Could not punch him in the top of the head, even with Shaz Nell over here. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the names they've chosen for these people are so funny. Yeah, so um, that's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So I'm just going to kind of leave that to be a combat that will forever ruin my life. That's the end of Beanie's turn two, though. Very strong position over here. Taking out one of my stealth suits over here, that ain't good. So, I'm gonna have to push back as we move into Tau, turn two. And at the beginning of my phase, I get five victory points for holding this objective. All right. Before we go into my turn proper, remember, he killed a unit with a psychic power, so it's VP, secondary D3. objective, E. One. Okay, nicely done. Now, at the beginning of my turn, um, Beanie is on six at the moment, but believe it or not, I'm on 10 because I have one objective marker under my control and I get five victory points for having a Tau unit in my um, objective, in my deployment zone. That's it. Sick. Cool. <laughs> cool, all right, so moving into my turn proper and I'm gonna do some movement. And Battleshock. Oh yeah, Battleshock, let's do that, yep. Classic Tau, they know no fear. I pass my leadership and then some. Um, in terms of where I actually want to go, I don't want to go anywhere near you, mate. <laughs> I really, really don't. I wanna stay far away and not die. Those are my two major things that I would like to get Coward. out of this. So what I might do is just stay completely stealthy still over here again, or maybe move him further away and sacrifice the point because I just don't know if I'll be able to take both of these heavy units. I really need to clean house with them, but they are tough as nails. So here we are after my movement phase. And even though sitting in the corner, crying and cowering would net me some tasty points. I've got to push this horrible blob of Terminators somewhere, even if it's just down a hallway. Pull their trousers down, steal their lunch. I don't know, I'll try my best. I'm gonna pay one CP at the beginning of the shooting phase for um, the defensive fusillade, which allows me to fire all of my uh, ranged weapons as pistol. Let's try and knock this guy off the point. After that, these guys, oh sorry, uh, the ethereal's gonna act as the spotter unit on this and guide the ghost keel to victory hopefully helping him shoot a little bit better. Weaver of Fates. Weaver of Fates going on to that for your free reroll. And then I'm gonna use everything that the stealth suits have got to try and also help out with their fusion blasts and stuff like that. So let's do the shooting over here first, which looks a little bit like, well, that sucked balls. I didn't manage to <laughs> kill him. I managed to roll a bucket load of dice, only managed to get two hits and none of them converted. I was like, 
Yeah, fine, 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 whatever. So, moving swiftly on and forgetting about that horrible nastiness, <laughs> uh, we're going to put the stealth suits in first against these guys, try and weaken them up. So, Fusion Blaster and the Burst uh, Cannon going in against the Terminators. Oh, no, no damage done here either. Didn't even manage to make it through to the wound rolls because these guys smell of poo-poo and pee-pee, -pee, these two over here, in fact. Um, so, now it comes down to the Ghost Keel. Tell me down, mate. Let him down. I'm going hazardous. I'm going hazardous, mate. Six shots. He's a madman. He's a madman. Stop him. Someone please. Hitting on threes, babies. Okay, he hits with everything. That's Ooh. good. That's good. Okay, so now this is going to be wounding on fours, though, That's because of the Implacable Guardian. Guardian. Come on, mate. Come on. Convert for daddy. You didn't convert jack shit, mate. You got one wound through. That is very disappointing. On fours. Uh, and a free reroll. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that is the effectiveness of a tower shooting army. Love it. Well, you just wasted my cabal points. Well, I just wasted my turn, it feels like, because that is the end of it right now. I'm not doing any charges Charge. whatsoever. Charge. No, no Charge. charges, no Charge. charges, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, that is the end of my turn. At the beginning of your turn, I've you got score eight. 10. Oh, we've got combat. We've got combat. I keep forgetting about that. We've got combat over here. Let's go. Well, somehow I did no wounds and also took the loss of another Tau member. Boo! But that is the end of my turn. At the beginning of Beanie's turn three, he is going to be scoring 10 VP for having two command points under his control. Not bad at all. Thank you. So let's see how this uh, goes. After. I've, I've lost the energy, you can tell, mate. I just completely had the wind knocked out of me by that. Absolute that was gut a punch. It was such a bad so turn. So bad. <laughs> such a bad turn. So here we are. Beanie has started pushing forward against the desperate Tau forces, and they are eyeing up the Ethereal as well, just to really, really make their day a bad one. So starting with the pistol into combat over here. Hitting on four. He did it. Amazing. Wounded on a four. He did Amazing. it. Amazing. AP. Zero. Huh. He oh, did it. Oh man, this is <laughs> sucking. Come on, dude. Okay, so there's the pistol taking him out. Cool. Are they in engagement range anymore? I guess that now he's not part of that unit. He's not, so you can charge me. <laughs> come, in, come, in, come in for a fight. Come in for a fight. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we are going to go on to the Infernal Master. Sure. Who is going to split fire. Oh, no, he's okay. not. No, he's okay. not. I'm, 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 I'm being reckless like a madman. Just focus so, fire. Focus so he's going to do the uh, pi his pistol and his screaming... Ooh, into this. It's like, oh, no, no, because it's got the pistol keywords. You can only pick... No, 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 you'll be able to pick any pistol. Yes. So he's going to do both his regular bolt pistol and his magic death scream. Nice. He okay. is going for hazardous because he's a baller. I like it. Uh, and it's 2d6 auto hits. Boom. Nine auto hits coming in against my weedy ethereal. So this is going to be... Uh, two's to wound because strength six. Mm-hmm. Two, four, six, eight, Tats. minus two. So onto his five up. So five, five up, sorry. Five ups. Ooh, and then five ups again for the field, okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, dead. Very dead. Very dead. The ethereal is out of here. Goodbye. And his pistol shot goes wide. <laughs> okay, well, the good start to the shooting phase. Wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> yeah, as the shooting army in this. Oh, in this I'm uh, not the shooting army though. Like having to have so many things set up for the Tau to even shoot as good as these do regularly is bizarre. But still, that's the way the 10th edition is for now. So up next is six, all eight. of the Terminators. Who are they shooting at? Oh no, oh no, we're working our way oh, up to that. Okay, who, are you doing all these shots from them? Oh, the auto pistol. What do they the... normally hit on? Uh, fours. So fives because of the stealthy. Easy. It was pretty easy. They managed to hit twice. They did, which is about as good as your guys have been doing. And then it's six is to wings. They're strength four. Oh, yeah. Toughness eight. Uh, toughness, uh, toughness uh, strength three. Oh, okay. In that case, six is no. Okay. But it was worth a go. Definitely. Okay, next up now is the Terminators. And where are they going to be going? So everything from the Terminator squad, excluding the Hellfire, is going to go into the Stealth Boys. The Hellfire is going into the Stealth, uh, the big Ghost Kill. So. Cool. Let's do all of the shots from the Terminators that look a little bit like... Fours to hit. So, fours to hit. Eh, all right. Not... Well, I said that, only seeing them, and then I didn't notice that entire barrage of <laughs> Ones and twos. <laughs> and then this is strength four, isn't it? Yes, so, of fours. fours. Oh, good conversion there, mate. Okay, so that is five at minus one. So, five, four. Four ups. Yep. 
Make it a more. Go stealthy boys. Okay, next hey, up. Uh, Soul Reaper Cannon. Do, 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 do. This is the one that always screws me over. And then this is going to be when we go on threes instead yep. of twos this time around. Which did make one bit of difference. It did. Um, I'm going to spend one of my CP sure. here. Nada. Okay, so uh, AP on this is? Uh, I think it's minus two. Cool, oh, blimey. Uh, a four and a four, so is it minus two? Yeah, I hope it's not. I really I hope it's not. I really think it is. Oh. Let me... Uh, no, it's, not, it's minus one. Yes, they're still alive. Zero wounds taken. That was actually very lucky indeed. How does it, it feel to have a bad shooting round, Beanie? <laughs> I don't like it. I know, it sucks, doesn't it? Right, Wait, well. Two for Hellfires. Oh, yeah, and they're going into the ghost kill, so again. Oh, and, oh sorry, I'm done the warp smite, which is going oh, into them as well. Poo, so, poo, uh, poo. Does that, does that get a minus one? It yeah, it's a, range, it's a ranged yeah, attack. Two yeah. fours. Oh, dang it. Okay. And it's anti inventory, so it's going to be fours anyway. Ugh. Oh. And this is minus three. So. Sixes. Ugh. One and so one. One guy dies. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, the leader is still alive, and I need a battle shock token test required for these guys over here. Okay, another Hellfire. Hitting on fours because he is somehow stealthy, even still. though he's the size yep. of a building. Didn't matter anyway. That's going to be three to wound. Mm hmm. One wound coming in. Minus two. Minus two. Two up save, Fours. so it's four up save. He made it. No damage taken by the five. Dang around. Okay. Well, it's down to the charge then, my friend. And where are you going to go first? Uh, so. Ooh. It's a toughie, this. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of charges to do. Because you can just mop up pretty impressively over here. Yeah, it just depends on whether I just want to hold all the objectives like some kind of absolute maverick. I mean, covetous. covetous. Very much, very much yes. with the uh, Thousand Suns. They covet knowledge. They do. Um, it would make sense to kill him if he mm. holds that objective, mm. and then, mm. yeah. Mm. So mm. I uh, think they're going to charge him. Any other charges first? Uh... Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you. <laughs> George, uh, that one first. Yes, Zango, <laughs> Zango, okay. Zango. Uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just about. <laughs> right, okay, so you're going to charge the Terminator squad and the Infernal Master is part of them. Into... No, he's not part of them. He's okay. a lone operative. He's going into that against him there. So I will spend... Oh, and I passed my um, thing. Your uh, thing? Because I, I killed a guy with a, oh, with uh, a psychic, psychic thing. So, oh, okay, D, so... D, D3 uh, points for me. Two. two. Okay, so two extra VP for B knee. And then it's going to be a charge in against here, but I'm going to use a laser marked targets for one CP. Uh, it's minus two from your charge rolls, and I get to do Overwatch against you straight away. So, the Overwatch is just one shot in this case. Hit on that six. Hit on the six. It. No, okay, so that's that it. That is a two. So, it's a minus two, two charge, so you'll need... That oh, should do. Dang it, okay, I was <laughs> really hoping that the two would make a difference here. So, yeah, with, yeah with the eight. Ah, oh, dang it. Touch. He is in there, no issues whatsoever. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting one. What I really need to do is just survive combat here and pass my test, because then I'll get a sweet five victory points for the Kaoyon Lure. That's all I can do, that's all I can do here. Okay. So, uh, where do you wanna do the fight? Uh, so, right, so he should be in range of that, but he might not be. But it sure. doesn't really matter, because no, I've got it three. Really, really doesn't matter at uh, all. So I think I'm going to start the fight with against the Zang, uh, with the Zango. OK, so four attacks going in against my um, Cadre Fireblade. Yes. Hitting on fours? I think it's fours. It feels really weird that they hit on fours. Yes, yeah. I may have over -rolled. You've over-egged the pot, have you? You've yeah. been attacking with four, and they only had three. God. I did. I know, I'm such a cheater. Well, Zinch has rewarded your duplicity for uh, two big hits, wounding on. Cheers, Zinch. Threes? Yep. Two big wounds, AP on this zero. is zero. Fail them both, and I'm pretty sure he's dead because I'm not sure he has more I than think, two. I think, I think he has three. I guess for a named character you'd expect Maybe, him to have. Because he had five in eighth edition, I think. Oh, you're, over, you're overthinking things here. There he has three wounds, so he's on one left. He is very shaken over here, and he will have to take a battle shot test. So. Uh, his fight back, just do it here. Yeah, no, yeah, please, move please. To the scarabs. Um, he hits you one time. One time. And then he's got a five to wound. He wounds you. Come so on. all I've got is a six. Yeah. You killed him. Finally. <laughs> Combat towel lives. Get in. Oh, I really need to pass this test, though, because it's the only way I'm going to score any points in this round. So now it's going to be the Terminators versus the lone 
Stealth suit. I just want you to roll it. I want to see what they uh, they can do. So the psychic attacks are coming in first with the force sword. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. All, all hit. All hits. A strength of this is. So I think it's six. Okay. Yes. So yeah, it's gonna be threes then. Two saves. What's the save? Minus on this. Minus one. So two four ups. Four up save. Ooh. Both made. So no, he will die. That is for sure. But he will not give you VP for doing so. That's true. And then all of these are the... Uh, uh, the co -pashes. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a lot of hits. No, and then the wound. To wound. Yep. Ooh. E ow. Ooh, is the noise is that the... Uh, could have been better. But it's the minus on this is... Uh, two. So fives. You're groaning nearly did it. <laughs> oh man, he is so dead, it's unbelievable. So he is gone, and that means that the Terminators have uh, managed to do that. So that is them done and dusted. And now they're going to consolidate towards him a little. Need to check the consolidation rules because they have changed in 10th. Wellity, wellity, wellity. The Terminators are staying put, but they have claimed their prize. A brand new uh, Tau head for the mantle piece and a new objective. Um, that is... <coughs> Every single one under his control. I don't know it's, if it's possible to pull this back, um, but I will bloody well try because at the beginning of my turn I score uh, zero points, I believe, because you have OC of four mm -hmm. on there and I have only an OC of three. Doesn't I'm going to try and pass my Battleshock test with my boy up here. If I do, I will get five victory points for having a guy who's not Battleshocked in my back lines. So let's see, can he get over a six? He does get a six just. I so thought he is. I thought it was seven. Meets it, beats it. He's a leader, though, isn't he? Yeah, but does that mean it's better? I think he is better. Is they, they're um, super you brave. ethereal, tricking me into thinking that your leadership is the... It's a seven! Oh, fair enough. Okay, so he's failed, so no points for me. What a surprise. Uh, I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory, and we're going to go over here with his movement phase. He's going to shoot you in the back, and that's going to be probably the end of my game <laughs> over here. So let's go into the shooting phase straight away. And it's going to be the hazardous, obviously. Weaver of Fate. Yeah, what a surprise. Um, it's going to be six big shots going into the back of the Infernal Master. Um, oh, I can finally use his ability. I can have him guided by him. Yes, yes. So he will hit on threes. He misses twice. Even though point, in, point blank. I know, right? And then it's going to be threes, threes to wound. Oh, OK. Well, I've wounded you twice. Twice. Use a CP. Three times, three saves to make invulnerables on him. He has a five up. Five up invulnerable, here we go. And I'm going to use his ability, which is called the Glimpse of Eternity, to... Change one to a six automatically, yeah? So you can change... Oh, the result, so I can still roll, yeah, roll it, it and then... Fail it and then... So he's failed twice, he can change one to a six, and then he can re-roll one for free because of a Weaver of Fate. Because of a Weaver of Fate, yeah. So he takes three damage, okay, and then I've down got to my one. Twin Fusion Blaster. One shot. It hits on a three. It does, and he'll be wounding on a two. It's a big wound. It's minus a lot. I've got a CP for a reroll. Uh, he's failed it. It's a CP for a reroll. <laughs> Come on, kill the Infernal Master. Kill someone in this game. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ish, because it's... He's only got one wound left here. Kill yeah. him with the melter thing. But let's just see how much damage it would have done. A pretty hefty amount. Seven with Not the bad. melter rule on top. Cool. He's redeemed himself ever so slightly. That is probably the end of my turn and the end of my game. Do you is what I'd say if I wasn't charging you over <gasps> here with the ghost gill. Uh, I might as well at this point in time. There's literally no other reason not to. Charging in against the, the goat boys. Seven inches. He's, That'll be he's fine. failed it. I think he's failed it. I think he's smashed a bloody dude. He's done it. He's done it. Mate, I'm going to pay for that thing. I'm going to pay for tank shock. Do I've it. got to do it, right? Okay, so tank shock's coming in. He gives a vehicle. I roll six, eight, D6. Every five up is a mortal wound. Let's see if we can do something. Come on, baby. Do you hear that? It's the sound of Beanie taking four of his beaky boys off the table. Uh, are they in coherency? Because they need to be in two inches of, of two models now. Ah, he may need to rethink. Is he? Every model needs to be within two. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's cool. Maybe maybe that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm within Dang two. it! I was hoping that coherency would actually pay in my favour for once. But no, I'm in combat now. Are you ready for the ghost keel fists? I am. Well, I'm not because I haven't checked the profile yet. 
Well, he managed to pie one more of them with his only three attacks and his ghost keel fists, but now it is time for the Zangors to attack back. They're consolidating in. Oh, only... Only those three? Uh, it's only going to be those uh, two that are actually in base. Oh, no, he can go in for yeah, base Yeah, and remember, base. if you're in base to base with a ba mate who's base to base, yeah, you're fine. because so. I'd rather keep them in some semblance of coherence. No, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so nine so attacks. Nine attacks. Forwards. Coming back in. Come on, baby. You ready to see some sixes? Sixes. No. Nada. Okay, well, he did some damage, but it was not clearly enough, because at the beginning of Beanie's turn, he's going to get... 15 VP maximum. I cannot catch up with him, so I think that that's probably the best place to leave it here because the Fair Ghost enough. Keel and the uh, Counter Fire Blade, they're going to sort of disappear into the ethereal. He's going to run off the map over there and he will slink back into his wall of mirrors. In the law, they probably would have committed suicide the second that the ethereal died anyway. Oh, because they're so in love with her. Yeah, they they're absolutely... Sexy, bold bonds. Mm, yes. Mm, wiggle that brain for me. Or don't, because we have no warp powers. So, that has been our first ep episode of Combat Patrol here on the channel, 10th edition. I felt it wasn't as balanced as I think that they yeah. have led us to believe. I do feel that there was a slight uh, pounding, punching down going no. on by the Thousand Suns there. Maybe too many eggs in too few your baskets with I, this combat patrol. I think if you'd rolled a little better on some mm. things, it might have, like... I think it's just the ability to have the free reroll of a failed one and having five Terminators in a group and having the psychic powers. It's like you cover all bases with that combat patrol, very heavily skewed to one style of play, which is don't move, it seems. And that's, yeah. that's really weird for a small game size because you're like, objective control is so important. Yeah. But who knows, the Tau stuff may change as we see 10th edition evolve, but right now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the spotter guided thing. I didn't it's like it. It's very confusing, and it only gives you the plus one to their ballistic skill, ignore cover stuff. And I'm sure I've made mistakes with who's done what because of the overlapping rules that they have between who was spotting and who was shooting. But hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you wanna follow us on the social medias, I am at RetroJ, but the O is a zero on Twitter, Instagram, and... Nowhere else. Don't follow me anywhere else. Don't want you follow me anywhere else. But you can follow Beanie over on Instagram at Beanie40k. You're damn right you can. But until next time, hope you have a great time living your life and playing 10th edition. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.